July 2021 has been a phenomenal month for the Billionaire Boys Club Space Adventures. In less than the span of a week, Richard Branson and Amazon's Jeff Bezos have travelled to suborbital space in spacecraft made by their own companies. Not to be outdone, Elon Musk's Starship program, which threatens to overshadow these tourism achievements, has already won a $2.6 billion NASA contract for developing the human landing system for the NASA Artemis project that will land people on the moon. One country may be feeling left out of the space race with all these major accomplishments and has been incessantly copying the Starship program to follow their own space agenda. Can you guess who? It's China, of course. Like Musk's Starship program, whose ultimate aim is to send people to Mars, China too has set some huge targets for the space race. But why does China keep copying SpaceX Starships? Today, we're going to find out. China is eyeing SpaceX's every move. Elon Musk may be the strongest contender in the space race, having already developed spacecraft systems that have ferried US astronauts to the International Space Station. Now, the biggest milestone en route to Mars is the HLS Moon Lander. Musk is one person who doesn't mind competition. China is capitalizing on Musk's ideas, though, the primary of which is sustainable spacecraft. China is now heavily engaged in the process of developing its own reusable rockets. Let's see how far they have gotten. It even has its own SpaceX counterpart. The biggest resemblance to SpaceX's Starship is China's very first project called LinkSpace, which was developed by LinkSpace Aerospace Technology Inc. LinkSpace is China's first private rocket firm in Shenzhen. It was founded in 2014 and is led by CEO Haiyu Zengyu. Word has it that LinkSpace could be a stronger contender to SpaceX's Falcon 9 in the near future. The company has claimed on its own social media that it will launch suborbital space flights 20 years from now. One of the ways LinkSpace proposes to achieve this is by using a reusable vertical takeoff and landing rocket very similar to the Starship vehicle. News of the concept was launched on April 24th, National Space Day. The government has set April 24th as China's Space Day at a press conference in Beijing. Yes, China even has a dedicated Space Day now, ripping off SpaceX concepts. Seemingly lacking in imagination, China has also ripped off SpaceX's point-to-point -point transportation concept, saying that the China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology, CALT, a state-owned space agency, has developed the potential for suborbital point-to-point -point transportation. Suborbital point-to-point -point transportation is where a vehicle is launched into suborbital space from Earth and then touches down halfway around the planet in less than an hour. Comparing a SpaceX video showing a Starship flight from New York to Shanghai in 40 minutes, the Chinese video depicts a system using an electromagnetic catapult to achieve the same results. A video titled One Hour Global Arrival in the Space Transportation System was presented by CALT and uploaded to the Chinese social media platform Weibo. There is another huge similarity between Starlink and Starship, which is the way the first stage booster returns to Earth after separation. This indicates that it's a completely reusable system just like Starship. The video also allows passengers looking at views of Earth and experiencing weightlessness just before the spacecraft makes its descent, landing in a different time zone several miles away. The second concept also copies SpaceX. There is a second point-to-point -point concept in the Chinese animated video that depicts an HTOL, or horizontal takeoff and landing, launching by an electromagnetic rail. Once the spacecraft is catapulted into space, it engages what appears to be a hybrid propellant rocket engine to accelerate from Mach 2 to Mach 15, aka supersonic to hypersonic, and achieve suborbital flight. This too, like the first concept, is nothing new. It's an extremely popular concept with national space agencies and commercial space companies like NASA, SpaceX, and Blue Origins. But that's what the Chinese do best, it seems. They watch, copy a concept, and then label it made in China. No big deal. China is hoping to build its own space station. China has also been very busy with its space programs this year. The country successfully launched three astronauts into space in June of 2021, which brings it one step closer to completing its own new space station. The Shenzhou-12 spacecraft, also called the Divine Vessel, was launched on a Long March 2F carrier rocket from the Jiquan Satellite Launch Center in northwest China's Gobi Desert. Six and a half hours later, it docked with the core module of the planned space station called Tiangon, or Heavenly Palace, which is still under construction in a low Earth orbit. The astronauts will remain in space for three months, during which the life support system and maintenance will be tested. This is China's first manned mission in five years, and they hope to complete the space station by 2022. Incidentally, Chinese astronauts are locked out of the ISS due to US political objections and legislative restrictions. This is why China is determined to build a station of its own. China has launched its own Mars rover. 
The Chinese have also landed their very first Mars rover called Zurong on Mars, making China only the third country to successfully land a rover on the red planet. The 240kg Zurong rover successfully landed in Utopia Planeta on May 14th. The six-wheeled, solar-powered Zurong has since covered 236 meters of Martian surface. The country's space agency has also released landing footage of the Zurong that shows video and audio of the vehicle roving the surface of Mars. They are planning to make a Falcon Heavy ripoff. As the Starship ripoff wasn't enough, reports are out that China is also contemplating plans for a very large rocket, the Long March 9. This is a booster very similar to the design of SpaceX's Super Heavy booster, which will serve as the first stage of the Starship. The reason why China may just be keeping its eye on SpaceX is perhaps due to the fact that it can avoid employing its own think tank or R&D team for new space concepts. All of SpaceX's technology is consistent with China's long-term space goals, including trying to become a leading space power by 2045. That being said, the timeline might be a bit off by 15 years or so, since Elon Musk has set his goal for Mars before 2030. They plan to make a fleet like Starship. The China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation had started planning to develop a suborbital carrier vehicle back in 2017, and they hope to grow it into a fleet capable of ferrying cargo anywhere in the world by 2035 and passengers by 2045. The country has been monitoring the progress of SpaceX right from its inception, and reports have also revealed that a Chinese spy boat was stationed off the coast of Omelek Island, part of the Marshall Islands in the South Pacific, in 2006 to watch the inaugural flight of the Falcon 1. How much China hopes to achieve by riding piggyback off SpaceX progress is left to be seen, but one thing is sure, SpaceX is way ahead of China. What do you think? Will China ever catch up? Let us know in the comments below. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, subscribe to Tech Division, and hit the bell icon for notifications.